So what are the telltale signs of nursing home abuse? We're going to look into that now with a pair of experts, the founder of the Hawk Law Group, Vic Hawk, and Kip McAllister practicing uh, on the South Carolina side for the Hawk Law Group in Aiken uh, with uh, more than a decade of experience dealing with nursing homes. And um, Vic, Will noticed while visiting his aunt uh, in her nursing home that she had some bruises on her legs. None of the staff can really determine exactly how the bruises got there. Uh, if Will finds out that she suffered some sort of neglect or abuse, would this be um, considered a criminal matter or a civil matter, or could it be a little bit of both? The answer to your question is it, it could be a little bit of both. Of course, if, if you have intentional criminal act occurring, causing the bruising or injury, then that person can be prosecuted. A criminal act is a violation against the public in general that has a victim uh, being an individual, but it's a prohibition against conduct uh, that the public in general cannot engage in. And if a nursing home employee is abusing uh, a, a patient, then of course that nursing home employee can be prosecuted. More likely to be civil in nature if there's a claim at all with regard to the bruising. As you well know with elderly, uh, you can bruise very easily and it may be something that is insignificant. But until you investigate and determine the cause of the bruising, you're not going to really know for sure. So it could be either or both, given the specific circumstances of the case.